Hi, in this video, I am going to explain about miscellaneous exercise on chapter 8 binomial theorem, question number 6 and 7 solution. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Question number 6 Find the value of a square plus square root of a square minus 1 to the power 4 plus a square minus square root of a square minus 1 to the power 4. So here now we need to evaluate this value. This value we can evaluate by using the binomial theorem. See here we have two expressions. One is this one, another one is this expression. First let us evaluate each expression by using the binomial theorem. So here I have a binomial theorem a plus b to the power n is equal to this. So now let us apply this binomial theorem to these expression. So first I am considering here this part that is a square plus square root of a square minus 1 to the power 4. Now compare this with the value of a plus b to the power n. Here a is equal to a square, b is equal to square root of a square minus 1 and n is equal to 4. Now, in this case, I am taking this one as a first term, that is A term, and this one as a B term. Now, apply the binomial theorem. See, in the case of binomial theorem, suppose if you have here A plus B to the power N, then NC0, we start from NC0 and up to NCN. So, here we have the N value is equal to 4. So, we have to start from 4C0 up to 4C4. That is 4C0, 4C1, 4C2, 4C3 up to 4C4. Then next here the first variable. The first variable is A here. The first variable power starts from N and it goes on decreasing up to A to the power 0. So here in this expression the first variable is A square. So A square to the power 4, A square to the power 3, A square to the power 2, A square and here it is A square to the power 0 which is 1. Next here we have square root of A square minus 1. Square root of a square minus 1, this is the second variable. The power of second variable is increasing. It start from b to the power 0, that is 1. So, b to the power 1, b square up to b to the power n. So, now here we have to write this one as square root of a square minus 1 to the power 0, that is 1 only. That's why I have not written here. Then here we have square root of a square minus 1, square root of a square minus 1 to the power 2, square root of a square minus 1 to the power 3, square root of a square minus 1 to the power 4. Now, this is the expansion for this expression. Now let us find the values. See here we have square root of a square minus 1 to the power 2. This we can write as the square root is nothing but to the power half. So this we can write as a square minus 1 to the power half then to the power 2. So this and this will get cancelled and for this we get the value a square minus 1. In the same way a square square root of a square minus 1 to the power 3 we can write as square root of a square minus 1 to the power 2 into square root of a square minus 1. Here for this we know the value that is a square minus 1. So we get the value here a square minus 1 square root of a square minus 1. Next square root of a square minus 1 to the power 4 we can write in this way also that is uh, square root of uh, a square minus 1 uh, whole square to the power 2 into square root of a square minus 1 to the power 2 or we can write like this way also that is a square minus 1 to the power half because square root is nothing but half then to the power 4 this and this will get cancelled so here we have uh, a square minus 1 to the power 2 that is nothing but a to the power 4 minus 2 a to the power 2 plus 1 here to expand this one i have used this formula that is uh, a minus b to the power 2 a square minus 2ab plus b here in this case a value is a square and b value is 1 so after applying this formula i got this one so these are the values for these terms next here let us find the combination values here we have to find out 4c0 4C1, 4C2, 4C3 and 4C4. See, 4C0 and 4C4 is equal to 1. That is from this formula. We know that NC0 is equal to 1. NCN is equal to 1. 
In the same way, n c one is equal to n, and n c n minus one is equal to n. So from this formula, we can find this value. That is the four c one. Here n is four, so four c one is equal to four, and four c three is equal to four. Next here we need the value of four c two. This you can find out by using the formula. N C R is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r whole factorial into r factorial. That is four C two is equal to four factorial divided by four minus two whole factorial into two factorial. That is is equal to four into three into two factorial divided by two factorial into two into one. You can cancel this two factorial with this one. So here we get final answer as six. So now we got all the values. So just substitute the values in the given expansion. That is here we have the expansion. In this expansion, now I will substitute the value so that we have a square plus square root of a square minus one to the power four is equal to one into a to the power eight plus four uh, into a to the power six square root of a square minus one plus six uh, into a to the power four. Into a square minus one plus four uh, a square into a square minus one square root of a square minus one plus one into a to the power four minus two a square plus one. So now we got the value for this. Next, here we have to evaluate this one as well as one more expression we have. That is this one. So now I have calculated the value of this one. Next, we have to calculate the value of this one. So here, see the both of these expressions are uh, like similar. Only the sign is different. Here we have plus sign, and here we have minus sign. So for this, uh, you can apply the again the binomial theorem. That is for the negative values. We can have a binomial theorem for negative. That is a minus b to the power n. This is same as the positive binomial theorem. The only difference is that here. In the second term, the value, the sign we have to change. The sign is minus. Then the third term sign is plus. The fourth term sign is minus, and the last term sign depends on the n value. So that is the only change you have to make. So now here both of these terms are same. That's why I'm not again expanding the value for this one. Instead of that, I will just we have the final answer of this one. So in that answer only, I will make uh, some sign changes. So see here. We have the final answer of this one. So in this, I will make the changes in the sign. So the first term is positive only. The second term is negative. Third term is positive. Fourth term negative. Fifth term is positive. So like this way, you have to do. And here we have n is equal to four. So last term is here positive. So this is the value for this one. Next year in the question, they have asked us to find out this one. That is. Uh, A square plus uh, square root of a square minus one to the power four plus uh, a square minus square root of a square minus one to the power four. So now let us add these two values: a to the power eight uh, plus a to the power eight. That is two uh, a to the power eight. Then uh, this and this will get cancelled. Here we have plus and here we have minus. Then here we have a six a to the power four into a square minus one, and here we have six a to the power four into a square minus one. So we can write this one as six plus six to val a to the power four into a square minus one. Then this and this will get cancelled. Then here we have uh, uh, a to the power four a to the power four. So that is two a to the power four. Then minus. Uh, 2a square, then minus 2a square, that is minus 4a square, then 1 plus 1, that is 2. So we can get the value here, that is 2a to the power 8 plus uh, 2 val a to the power 6. a to the power 2, 4 we have here. Here we have a square, so 4 plus 2, that is 6. Then minus uh, 2 val a to the power 4 plus 2a to the power 4 minus 4a square plus 2. So here we get uh, minus 10a to the power 4. So the final answer is. 2a to the power 8 plus 2a to the power 6 minus 10a to the power 4 minus 4a square plus 2. Next here we will see the next question that is question number seven. In the question number seven, we have to find out find the approximation of 0.99 to the power five using the first three terms of its expansion. See here, we need to find the value of this one. Finding the value of this is very difficult, so exact value we can't find out. So here, we need to find out just the approximate value. So to find out that, first of all, see we can write this 0.99. 0.99. I can write as 1 minus 0.01. 
so that here we have two values that means we can apply the binomial theorem and here minus sign we have so that's why you can use the binomial theorem for negative values see this is the binomial theorem we have a plus b to the power n that is for the positive if the sign is plus now if the sign is negative then only you have to make some changes in the sign that is the second term is negative here then the fourth term is negative then the last term sign depends on the n value so now here we have to use this particular uh, uh, formula this particular theorem so we can write 0 0.99 to the power 5 as 1 minus 0 0.01 so compare this with this one so if you compare this with this one a is equal to 1 here and the second term b we can take as 0 0.01 and n is equal to 5 now apply the binomial theorem see in the binomial theorem the values start from nc0 and up to ncn in both the cases plus as well as in negative cases so here we have n value is 5 so we will start from 5c0 5c1 uh, 5c2 so like this way 5c3 5c5 we have to do up to there but in the question they have now asked us to find out the approximate value so that's why and even it's given that you we have to first find the approximate value by using first three terms so no need to expand all the values here we will just expand here first three terms of this expression because in the question itself they have given so 5c0 1 to the power 5 minus 5c1 1 to the power 4 into 0 0.01 plus 5c2 1 to the power 3 into 0 0.01 square so now here find the value of 5c0 5c0 is equal to 1 5c1 is equal to 5 this uh, we can get uh, from this that is nc0 is equal to 1 in the same way nc1 is equal to n so from this we can get this value next find the value of 5c2 using the formula ncr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial so that is 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial that is, is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 factorial then in the denominator we have 3 factorial 3 factorial in 2 into 1 so after cancellation and multiplying finally we get the answer that is 10 so now here we have the values for all these so just substitute the values in this in the expansion so 1 into 1 to the power 5 minus 5 into 1 to the power 4 into 0 0.01 plus uh, 10 into 1 to the power 3 plus 0 0.01 square plus here we have further some terms but uh, in, in the question they have asked us to find out using three terms we have to find the approximate value so that's why i have taken only here up to three terms next this is 1 minus 5 into 0 0.01 that is 0 0.05 plus uh, 10 into this 0 0.01 square that is 0 0.00 0 0.0001 next 1 minus 0 0.05 then this becomes 0 0.001 so here we have 1.001 minus 0 0.05 that is, is equal to 0 0.951 so this is the approximate value for uh, the power that is 0 0.99 to the power 5 which we have uh, taken as uh, 1 minus 0 0.01 to the power 5 if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also click the bell icon to get regular notification. Thanks for watching.